So uh, we're here with um, Recalcitrants, who were a band back in the uh, late 80s and 90s. Uh, we've got Sean Echevri, the guitarist, on the right. We've got Chris Howard, who played bass uh, after their first demo tape. And I figured we would uh, kick this off with uh, talking to you guys about how you first uh, heard heavy metal. So uh, just curious where you guys sort of got into that style of music for uh, for starters. You go first? Go ahead. Uh -oh. So um, I, I I think of the way it all started. I think of uh, graduation years from high school. Right. You get this, you know. Okay, um, I was class of '84 in in high school, I, and I grew up across the street from uh, Mike Smith, who's currently in uh, deceased. So we we he introduced me in third grade. <laughs> third grade. Kiss. Yeah. Oh, nice. So I mean, oh. I you know. What grade school? Um, I went to. Uh, uh, in Vienna, the Catholic school, o OLGC. Oh, okay. There. Our Lady, Our Lady, garbage can or something. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that people used to call OLGC? Old ladies. I don't remember. Yeah, but they had names for it. Yeah, different. And um, what high school? You, you went to to Marshall High School. No, Mark Mike went. To oh, Marshall. you didn't go to Marshall. I, I went to O'Connell. Oh, okay. Did here, your yeah. sister go to uh, Marshall High School? No. Nah. Okay, so you guys all you Catholic school the whole way. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Me and my brothers and sisters. And you, did you have? Okay, but, so did you have a Grohl? Was he in cl any any uh, classes or anything with you? Was no, he, going he went there to Ironton. Time? Oh, he went to Bishop I Ironton. Yeah, okay. and I only, I only learned that recently, uh, maybe from watching your some of your interviews or something. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know he went to Bishop something. Yeah, he went to Ironton. And uh, Chris, what high school did you go to, by the way? Robinson. Okay, so there you go, Northern there Virginia. Go. Uh, yeah. yeah, and so in Mike... His. <laughs> So, uh, go on. So, you're in the third grade? Third grade, kiss. kiss. I'm just kiss, kiss, kiss until eighth grade. And that's when you know, ACDC, Scorpions, Animal Magnetism was a big... Uh, Junior high, man. That's 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 when metal was, you know, that was cool. It was, yeah, no, it, yeah. so that was my first thing. It was, was like a cool UFO shit to be and, into, yeah. UFO and ACDC, Highway to Hell was a you know, mega album for that time. Right, so, right. that was like the transition over to the New Wave Um of British heavy metal. I mean, talking Saxon, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and so Mike and I being across the street. Well, he didn't. He he he, he lived out of the area some for some periods of time. So right. we go back and forth. Yeah. But uh, during the high school years, you know, tri um, we'd go to the different record stores, Penguin Feather down on Maple Avenue, right. which is currently the Anita's or something like that. Right. Um, looking in the import bins, you'd, you'd look at stuff uh, based on album covers. That's how you'd find new albums, the right. great new bands. Look at this album cover. This must be a cool. This must be cool music, right? right. I mean, it's judging uh, classic case of judging a book by its cover, and you, you get stung a lot, but there's a lot of good stuff that came out of it. Um, what's the other one? Was music and the the record store that was next to music and arts in Oakton? Yeah, they had a lot of metal there. They had like a good import uh, bin there. So. Um, that was that was my introduction was Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, that type of stuff, and then the Metallica album, you know, the the triumvirate, Metallica, Anthrax, and Slayer come out with their first albums. And how'd you guys know about those those bands? In the import bin, that's it. Yeah, so Penguin you just Feather you just import bin. Based. Yeah, they had one on, in Fairfax, man. Right, was, right. You know, He's, same thing. You know, an album cover with a hammer and blood. If you're gonna buy that, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> or if it was satanic, you know, look at Venom. They, that's, Venom, right? No, and, and pictures on the back with them, the the leather, yeah. and the nailed. Those nailed were the impulse buys. Those yeah, Venom absolutely. albums. You know. So, who were the other metalheads you started running into? Um, yeah, I I, I ran into uh, King Foley a couple times, but I never really hung out with him until I never really hung out with him at all. But I mean, I was I was not a very social person at all. I right. mean, Mike Smith, I met some people through him, you know, right. Mike Pritchard and Nigel and uh, Jim Powell and right. whatnot. Um, but I, I was never a social guy. I mean, I don't know how often we even... Exactly. I went over to your house like one time <laughs> and I got a dub of some Slayer bootleg off of you. Is that... <laughs> yeah, off of videotape.